everyone, and welcome to Kaiser and the Voices. I'm Kaiser Acheron, the host of The Voices, and welcome back to Kaiser Plays Super Mario 64. Last episode, we continued on our little star streak, and we are going to continue on that hunt in Big Boo's Haunt with Eye to Eye in the Secret Room. Figured finish off the mainstay levels first before we, you know, do all the hundred coin missions, because believe you me, those are going to be irritating as hell. Like, if there's one thing that a lot of people can agree on with Mario 64 is that the red coin mission, not the red coin, the 100 coin missions, sorry, I need to correct myself, are a bit of a pain in the butt. Seriously. Specifically, the reasons why. First off, you have to collect 100 of these things, and there's really not that many to go around as it is. So trying to get 100 of them at once is not really the easiest thing in the world to do. Second of all, some missions don't allow you to get the full hundred. So, you have to make sure you're choosing the right mission. Otherwise, you're gonna have to start all over again, which is an even bigger problem. Thirdly, it's just annoying. Like, it's a tedious freaking mission to have to collect a hundred coins just to get a star and then collect another star to leave the level. Because, yes, you do get the star, but it doesn't take you out. It, like, prompts a save. You know, but that's about it. You know, that's the main, like, three things that I think cause the hundred coins to be not so liked. Though I did see in the comments with Galaxy it was blue coins, which, Jesus Christ, talk about whiplash after freaking Mario 64, you know, not Mario 64, Mario Sunshine. You know, have this major whiplash of collecting blue coins being currency, and then you have to deal with freaking blue coins being the red coin collectible. Like, yeesh! Talk about crazy. Anyways, now that we're done with Big Boo's Haunt, for now, let's go back to Hazy May's Cave, because we got a few missions we gotta do there. And yeah, what I'm doing is I'm going through all of the levels that we have not done 100% in each of the sections. And I'm going to clear them out first. Then I'm going to try and find all of the hidden castle stars, which I think I found most of them. If not all of them. I don't know. Uh, in terms of secret stars, we are at 11. I think there's 13. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'm going to have to research that. He you. Do you have a star for me? Let me see. Let's see. Do you have a star? Do you? Yes, you do! Okay, I was remembering that correctly. This toad does have a star, which means we're up to 75. Criminy, we're almost at 100 now. And we still got a bunch to go, seriously. I did say we're doing all 100, and I meant it. Okay, Metalhead Mario can move. All right, if I recall this particular mission correctly, this has to do with the smoke pit that is in this particular section of the level. So let's go. Ooh, let's not fall down the pit. <laughs> Thank you very much. And let's go through here. And instead of going for the red coins, or the red coins, as the Lucajin would say, we go down this way, and then we go to the left. And we go through this door, which leads to the smoke pit. Well, it's not really a smoke pit, it's more of a gas pit. But still, I like to refer to it as the smoke pit because, well, look how smoky that is. Yeah, it's like a poisonous gas type thing, but still, this thing is smoking. Okay, so if I recall correctly with this particular level, we have to go through this and go through that door. I believe that's what we have to do. I'm not sure if this is the right way. Also, that bat is adorable. Like, seriously, the bats are cute. Even though you barely see them at times, they are cute as heck. All right, now, I believe once we go up here... We will get to the star for this because it is right through this elevator and through the door. Which, yes, I think that is the case. Alright, oh, oh, this one. Okay, so we might have done the wrong mission, but either way, doing this mission is going to be fun as heck too. And by fun, I mean kind of tedious. You gotta be careful not to let go of the grip. You have to be careful not to go too far. And just gently plop down. Okay, that takes care of that, folks. 76. We're doing good, we're doing good, doing good. We got three stars and ain't even been five minutes. That's a good freaking start, eh? Let's go. Back into the cave. 
I don't think we did Metal Mario. No, we did not. We did Amazing Emergency Exit. So we were on the right track. We just went the wrong way. Okay. And yes, I do like to crush that bug every time I enter the level. Just, it's, it, it, it's nice. It, it, it looks like a dang spider. No, thank you. All right. Let's just go over, not get burned. Very nice. So, you know, uh, I did want to talk about something. Um, the response to the whole autism thing, like, I wanted to say thank you. Because I know speaking candidly is kind of a rarity, you know, but I honestly am very appreciative that so many people were so positive to that because, like, it wasn't really something I talked about growing up because, you know, unfortunately there's a stigma with autism. So it was something I kind of kept close to the chest. So, yeah, the fact that so many people were so nice about it and even, you know, relayed understanding and even were, you know, like the fact that there are people watching me who have it too, like that warms my heart, it made me feel really nice, you know, and it felt nice to just talk about it, you know, and, you know, not be judged or looked at weird or feel like a freak, you know, because when you're different, you feel different, you know, like things hit different when you're different. Wow, that's good English. <laughs> but regardless, I just wanted to thank you guys for that, you know. Like, it just felt nice to be able to talk about it and have so many people understand, you know. It was really comforting. Anyways, n wait, what? Navigating the toxic... Wait, what? Huh? Okay, which one was this? Okay, so we have a conundrum on our hands. Well, Ned Mario can... M oh! Okay, now I remember. Okay, so I did this way out of order. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Neither one of those was the right one. Okay, I know which one it is now. I, I had a moment. My brain kind of had this thing. It just went bloop. I guess because, yeah, this was basically my brain. Like, just basically the thought fell into the hole. Pretty sure it just fell right in the hole. All right, down you go, Mario. Jesus H. Christ. Okay, I know where this mission is. Uh, it's where it's where it's where, it's where Nessie is. We gotta go talk to Nessie. Cause, well, not necessarily talk to Nessie, but still, it's in the same area. And I thought I could make that jump. That was dumb. That was very dumb. All right, watch the boulders. Watch out for them. They look so weird. It's like chocolate chip ice cream just formed a giant ball fully solidified into ice, and then just decided, you know what, I'm gonna roll down and ruin this guy's day. No damage. Thank you. Okay, so this is how you do this mission. Grab the metal cap and just move. I say this because, well, you gotta go underwater, and your movement is slowed in water, so you gotta do this quick before the timer runs out. Kinda like the eel mission in Jolly Roger Bay, only not as tedious. Basically, this opens that gate, this opens this door, and now we've got to pray for our jumps. And watch out for spiders. Because... Of course! <sighs> okay. Screw that up. Down we go again. I do like that when you jump in, like, the sort of, like, gooey substance of Hazy Maze Cave. I really don't know what that is. But its effect looks cool. Um, it basically gets, like, an extra yellow golden streak. I don't know. I always thought that was cool. You know, it goes from, like, this sort of greenish, pinkish shade, and then it adds this little streak of yellow to kind of indicate the cave lights. I don't know. I always thought that was just kind of a cool thing. You know, just, it was nice. It was nice to look at. All right, fall, and flip! Always a good trick to have. Don't want to take fall damage? Just ground pound! You'll save your ass. By, ironically, hurting your ass. <laughs> I don't know, there's a certain irony to it, you know? You're saving your ass from damage by stomping yourself on your ass after falling from a great height. I don't know, there's just an irony to it. Okay, carefully this time. Okay, ooh. Hachoo! There we go. Second time's a charm. And we still got two lives, so hopefully we won't get a second game over in this Let's Play. Eh? Still feeling really stupid about the thing with the slide. Seriously, what the hell happened? Either way, I don't care. Save and continue. We are done with Hazy Maze Cave. So next on the list is... Okay, Shifting Sandland and Dire Dire Docks. Okay, Shifting Sandland I will head to next, which is already down here. 
then we gotta go to Dire Dire Docks. So that will be our next target. For now, shift into the Sandlands. Okay, next mission is... <sighs> the Red Coin mission. And this one's kind of annoying. Why? Well, it said free-flying, so put two and two together on that one, folks. <sighs> now, to be fair, there are four on the ground, so it's not as bad as it could be. It just means that we get to use this! The shell. So we can slide and get the first couple of coins, so that's a plus. So we'll just go do that. Not gonna lie, I get the most game overs and deaths in this particular mission just because of how tedious it is to collect the red coins while dealing with many pits and, you know, like quicksand pits. Pits and quicks? What was I about to say? Sheesh! But yeah, no, it does get a little annoying because you've got to collect all these red coins while being airborne, but there's also the ground ones that are really annoying. And I just remembered there's one that's like literally at the beginning of the stage that I completely forgot to get. And this is the one that really gets me angry because look, look how thin that platform is. That is super thin. Like you've got to be like super careful because, oh look, there's quicksand right beneath you. And if you screw up, if you do not get this just freaking right, you fall in. No. No, I say. I say me. I say me to this particular red coin. I don't like it, and it can just go away. I have no interest in it. Just leave me alone. Okay, back up. Now, here comes the annoying part of this mission. <sighs> the airborne red coins. This is where this mission can just take it up the tailpipe, in my opinion, because you have to be very accurate with your flying here. Now, luckily, there are tornadoes that can help you get some footing. Note how I say some footing, because, yeah, this is going to get very tedious very quickly. Now, one thing that I would recommend doing is getting on top of this pillar. We just quick little double jump, and then the third jump, just go for it and just briskly fly towards it. <sighs> but aiming to get it is the hard part, as you can plainly see. <sighs> this particular mission is one I was dreading. Come on, get the... <sighs> Do you see why it's annoying yet? I hope so, because I don't want to sound like a lunatic. <sighs> Luckily, there's a lot of these red boxes, so it's not too big an issue. And there is a cannon in this level in the freaking <laughs> now here's what makes me a little annoyed by all this you would think that being in an air tornado in the middle of the dang desert you'd be able to friggin start flying as soon as you get done out of the friggin tornado but no you don't you just spin you just you just spin you know, it's not like I would like to fly after going into a tornado or something. It's not like I would enjoy the prospect of flight after being in a tornado, a thing that rotates you and lets you float. But no, no, we will not give you that luxury, good sir. You will spin and you will enjoy the spin and you will make sure to stay spinning. I'm not bitter. I'm not. I'm not bitter about this level. Okay, maybe I'm a little bit. Uh, joy, my thing felt... Well, I mean, at least I can show the freaking... <laughs> him falling into the sand with his butt. Usually it's just falling in, you know, legs first. Uh, it's a plus, I guess. <sighs> but no. I, 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 I don't particularly care for this level. I don't. And the worst part is... And here's the part that really pisses me off. You can still die. You can easily get all eight red coins and then accidentally fall into the freaking, like, the, the quicksand. Because it's everywhere in this level. Like, look, near the pyramid, near the beginning. Like, it's everywhere. Literally, the, the quicksand is everywhere in this place. It's the worst. And of course, if you angle your flight just a little bit wrong, you're not going to be able to get the coin. So you have to bend on the pillar again. Or in this case, just go back to the freaking red block. And then just hit it. You know, because why not? Your life is spiraling out of control. You might as well. 
Uh, I really don't like this mission. <laughs> I really don't. And it's like, it's the simplest thing. It's the simplest thing to do. Just fly and get the coin. You know, it's good freaking easy. You would think, anyway, you would think it would be that easy, but it's not. It's not that easy. It's a pain in the earth. I don't like it, but we got it. We're gonna get the star, and we're gonna get the hell out of here. Just screw this level. Screw you! 79! I'm sorry, I went on a bit of a rant there! Can you blame me? Unfortunately, uh, this is definitely one of those things I would honestly use to freaking get the thing. Now, this mission, Pyramid Puzzle. This one is tedious. Not so much in the sense of the red coins, but it's tedious in a different way. As the name implies, we gotta go into the pyramid. So, to the pyramid we go. At the very least, if we die in there, we get to start over. So that's a plus. Now, the pyramid puzzle involves that particular sand chute. Why? Simple. We're gonna have to go down. All the way down. Like, what we have to do is get all the way to the top, and then take this little path and go all the way down. Is it annoying? Yes! Is it as annoying as the red coins? <laughs> sort of. Like, the reason this one can be a problem, in my opinion, is that you could easily miss the jump. And you'll understand what I mean by that in a minute, as we slowly, carefully, begrudgingly climb these monkey bars all the way to here. <sighs> this particular level can be annoying. It just depends on what level of tedium you're willing to deal with. Isn't there a warp here? If I recall, there is a warp. No, there's not. Never mind. Those faces are still freaky as heck. Very, very freaky. Heart. But no, um, getting back to this particular mission, like, it's not as bad as the red coins, but it's kind of up there in my opinion. Mainly because there are platforms that you have to land on while you're doing the trek, and if you miss, you have to climb all the way back up to get to them. Because they're so far spaced that there's literally no way around it kind of deal. Like, you've got to do it this way, otherwise it ain't going to work. Like, I'll show you what I mean. As soon as I get up here, yeah, there we go. Okay, so here's what you gotta do for this particular mission. Okay, so as you can see, we're at the top, and there is a platform right below. Okay, let's hit this one. That's one. Now, we have to fall onto each of these platforms carefully. If you miss, you're gonna go all the way down without activating the secret. And that's the one thing you want, is to activate the secret, because it's a puzzle. So that's three. Now we fall straight down. Now we go through. Now this part's not so bad. You know, this part, kind of easy pickings. Just gotta walk across and collect the coins that are on the path. And that's how you get the star, which is all the way at the end, thankfully. So you don't have to go all the way back up to the top to collect it. Now, it's a little bit tricky, but it's doable. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, we're not going to address that. <laughs> we're not going to address that. No, we're, we're going to pretend that didn't happen. We're just going to pretend that <laughs> didn't fucking happen. <laughs> oh, oh, today is Mario. I'm, I'm getting mad at you, Mario. I'm getting very mad at you. Work with me, man. Trying to get this done in an efficient manner. Jeez. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be, man. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Please. I'm just trying to beat this. I've beaten this a thousand times. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. Thank you. Haiti. Ugh. All right. We are done with this level for now. Save and continue. Let's move on to Dire Dire Docks. And hopefully end this on a high note. Thank you very much. At least in the next level, I get to swim. Swimming is nice. I like to swim.
Actually, on the subject of swimming, I actually started swimming at like six months old. Like, no joke. Like, I was a water baby from the get. I joined swim teams. I used to get like little like competitions and such. I love to swim. It's, it's, it's nice. It's therapeutic. Anyways, let's go pole jumping for red coins. I do it to myself, don't I? I just do it to myself at this point. Red coins, red coins, ah, <laughs> the red coins. This one is a different level of oh no. <sighs> Why do I do it to myself? Why do I do it to myself? Why? Why do I do it to myself? You know what? No, I am not going to do this mission right now because I don't want to do this mission right now. I instead am going to elect to do a different mission because there's at least one more I want to do before I do this one. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that instead. Now, if my memory serves, I have already done this mission. This is the one I got to do. Okay, so you see that cage, right? That cage is essentially blocked off, and we need to get a specific uh, power-up to get it. So let's just go get it. This one. Now, if I recall correctly, you can combine caps. So you can be metal and invisible. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let the freaking thing come back. Grab it. And then grab this. Make the trick a little bit easier. And just go for it. Because what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sink and be invisible all at once and just go straight for the cage. The metal may run out, but the invisibility will last a little longer. But at the very least, it makes the trick just that slightly bit easier. And then boom! 81. Now I have no excuse not to get the red coin one, eh? No, I don't. But that was collect the caps. Honestly, it is cool that you could combine the powers in this game like that. It is nice. It's just a shame that they're kind of situational. Like, I love the powers. They're memorable for their themes and the way they look. Like, they're cool. But sadly, they're only useful in certain scenarios. You know, like... Uh, no, like, power-ups in a Mario game should be fun. Like, looking back on the original Mario and, you know, some of the new Super Mario Brothers games, like, the power-ups are just fun overall. Like, you get to use them in every level. You know, that in itself makes them worth collecting. At least in my opinion. Meanwhile, in games like this, they just feel kind of situational. Meanwhile, in Odyssey, to bring up the 3D game, you know, like... I feel like using Cappy to go into different species, while it can be situational at times, is still fun. Like, each level has a unique enemy that you can capture. You know, like Bullet Bills, Goombas, the Pokios, the freaking Uproots, you know. Every level has a different enemy, you know, and using them is just fun. It's just fun to use them. You know, there's no... You can get power moons with them, yeah, but honestly, it's just fun to mess around as an enemy. Because for the longest time, we couldn't, apart from, like, sports games and such. But, I mean, really. There's a limit with sports games. This is straight up just playing as a god deadly garn Goomba. You know, you can't really go wrong when you can throw a cap on a Goomba's head and then waddle around like a Goomba and then make a Goomba tower. I had a point to this. Oh, yeah. My point is, as much as I love, like, the metal cap, the vanish cap, the wing cap, they're great. You know, but sadly, there are other power-ups that kind of trump them. And on another note, why did Metal Mario become his own separate character? I get Shadow Mario. That I understand. Because Shadow Mario technically was his own character in the form of, you know, Baby Bowser. Or Bowser Jr., if you want to be accurate. But, like, dude, what is Metal Mario but just Mario? made of metal i mean maybe it's because of super smash brothers like the very first super smash brothers where metal mario was an opponent in which case uh, <laughs> you can't really say that anymore because then melee happened and metal became a power up i don't know just it feels like kind of a stretch and the same with like rose gold peach you know like why why is this a thing Ugh. And on the topic, why the heck do we not have party games for other Nintendo franchises? Like, why do we not have something for Zelda or Kirby? 
I mean, I get Kirby has, like, Kirby fighters and such now, but that's, like, a within-universe thing. You know, we have fighting games for the Nintendo franchises. Why not other things? You know, why not puzzle games with all Nintendo franchises or board games? I mean, shoot, Mario Party is freaking popular as hell. Imagine adding, like, the Nintendo lexicon to that, you know? Like, you could have so many different possibilities. Why do you not use them? It, it, it upsets Akai to see things not being done when they could be done. You know, it's like, me. there's so many cool ideas that could be done with this. Notice how I'm not talking about the mission in question. <laughs> uh, I'm not talking about this mission mainly because it's kind of annoying having to jump from pole to pole. I mean, as long as you know to rotate, you know, you're fine. But it's just, it's tedious. Some of these missions can be tedious, I will admit. But, I mean, that's what happens when you look back on a game that you're fond of without the nostalgia goggles. You see the cracks and seams. And what makes the game still stay nostalgic is your enjoyment of it. You know, if you enjoyed it as much as you did as a kid, or you still enjoy it even with the faults, it's still a classic. You know, like, there are some games you can go back to and just enjoy your time with. You know, this is one of them for me. Is it dated? Oh, good God, yes! Like, it's very dated by today's standards. You know, that's why they remade it on the DS. You know, because it's a classic of its genre. You know, that's why they re-released it again. You know, but Mario games have always kind of been classics. You know, that's just how Mario was. You know, Nintendo innovated the market. So, naturally, Mario is an innovator. Ironic, given he's a plumber. Regardless... I think that's going to do it today. We got a nice collection of stars, had a few mishaps, a few rants, but who's complaining, really? Tune in next time as we continue on our ascent to collect stars as we go back to Snowman's Land and collect more stars. Hopefully I don't rage. But until then, thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and a comment in the boxes below, letting me know your favorite moments from this episode. Also, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure all notifications are turned on, so that way you know when I am venturing further into this wild castle. Also, share this video around. Your continued viewership and support is greatly appreciated. And, of course, a very special thanks to the Tier 2 and Tier 3 Patreon supporters. Those being... Sebastian Canino, Aaron Lena, iShipit88, Jesse Barbo 6 Panda475, Nagi Oki, SilverFoxMC, DWolf1414, Senboy, Keith123, Angelique DeLaRouge, Mighty Chlorophyte, Honor Higgins, Jesse Alvarez, Horizon Dreamer, Happy Haunts 999 Grimmy Leon, Zodiac Demirge, Ruby the Wolf, Harley Wolf, and Katie Honey Jade. If you'd like to support the Patreon family, as well as get videos 24 hours in advance, along with exclusive Let's Plays, check the link in the description below to our Patreon. And with that said, this is Kaiser, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye!